any more than I do. All right. I hope so. Right amount, Dean. When do you want the dog delivered? The cupboard. Don't make a false move. Let's right. Bring that box over here.
Hello? Sheriff speaking. This is George Burns talking, Sheriff. The night rider held me up. What? He just rode away. Tell him. Tell him he's headed north. He's headed north. All right, Burns. The posse will meet you. All right. I'll wait here for you, but hurry. You the night rider? Why, Dan, you've been out here since early dawn. Don't you think you should go to your room and rest while I'm in town? With what little time I have left, Barbara, I'm not going to spend half of it in bed. Don't excite yourself, brother dear. You'll soon get well. Don't worry about me, then. Oh, but I can't help it. With that awful night rider coming and going whenever he pleases. Lula, would you ask Manuel to get my horse ready? Sit in your ego. Look. Isn't that Mr. Logan's horse, Steve? Yes, ma'am. Where's Logan? Bert's been done for, Mr. Rogers. How did it happen? Don't know. But the night rider was at George Burns' place last night. This morning, I found Bird near the old mines. Slugged through the heart. Something must be done, Dan, about that awful creature. Why, no one is safe in this whole district. I wish I had the use of my legs. I'd get him. I know you would. Listen, Barbara. I guess you'll have to go to town and see Jeff Barton and have him dig up a foreman for us. You know, I don't like to talk to Barton any more than I have to. I understand, Barbara. But he knows every available man in the district. Oh, well, all right. Will you go with me, Steve? I'll be yes. just a moment. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Senorita, it is I who wish to sing a song of love for you. Tula. Stop it, stop it. ¿Qué pasa? Tula, she shall love only the bold, brave man. The man who do things. What you speak to Manuel Alonso Valdez? He who shall be the bravest caballero in all the West. You had better not speak so loud. Maybe the night rider is here. And you not be so brave. Go now. Go get Miss Barbara her horse. It is a big insult. So I'm no good, eh? I will show you. I will get the bold night rider. Myself, personnel. <coughs>
Put the hands up. Your hands up. Hey. Put the hands up. Get along there, you listen. What are you doing? What's the matter? Are you deep? You don't hear? Put up your hand. Huh? Get in, you listen. Come on. Put up the hand. Stop. It is Manuel Alonso Valdez who orders it. Comprende? How's that? You have met with the greatest caballero in all the West. Oh, well, that's different. Huh. Yeah, sure. Well, that's different. Are you sure this is the West? <laughs> Cracky, I thought I was lost. Maybe you can tell me where I've been. You see, I come down here right through there. Aha. Uh -huh. You are the bold night rider, no? Yes, I've been riding nights. Days, too, for three months trying to get... Ah, it is a big insult. You know who it is I am. I'm the greatest caballero in all the West. Hey, look out for that gun. I know my gun. Yes, sir. You certainly do know your gun. <laughs> Senor, you are my prisoner. Hey, I ain't going to tell you again, young feller. Look out for Andre, that gun. Andre, vamos, vamos. Say, what you boys celebrate? What's all the shooting for? Gracias, senor. It was a pleasure to meet with you. I just captured this man. Well, what's he been doing? Ah, I think he is a night rider. Oh, uh -huh. where are you from, stranger? I'm from El Tuni, Pennsylvania. El Tuni. Yeah. Say, do you ride that old curiosity out here? Yeah, I had an awful time finding the West. Would you believe it? I rode through five states without seeing one road. Back home, when a fellow takes a ride, he usually uses a road. Say, stranger, how'd you come to run away from home? Have a fight with your pop? Yeah. A fellow named Horace Greeley said, go west and grow up in the country. I'm a little late, but I made her. <laughs> well, now, I'm right glad old Horace sent you out here. I'm glad to meet up with you. Hey, how do we know that you ain't the night rider? Oh, no, no, senor. Uh, I am after him. It will mean more than 10,000 pesos. And besides, Manuel Alonso Valdez is loco with love. So you're in love, huh, Alonso? Si, sí, senor. Well, now ain't that night. Nice. Hey, maybe we could help you out. Ah, gracias. No, 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 no. I don't mean in the love business. I mean, uh... Captain, this here night rider. Ah, está bueno, señores. Then we can all be great caballeros and capture this man. Well, I tell you, suppose we move over to my camp and fuck things over. You fellas interfered with my grub. We shall stick together and I shall be the brave capitano. No. I think it's a better idea if we decide on who's going to be leader by shooting it out. Oh, no, señor. I would not kill you or our friend Altuni. You don't have to kill a fella every time you shoot a gun. I mean, shoot at a, at a target. Got a gun, Altuni? Yeah. You hear? Where'd you get that watch charm? Hey, you nursed that a while, it might grow up. Will it shoot? I know, I never tried it. Where's your target? All right, Cabello. You ready? Hey. Keep your eye on it. I 
Got him in the man, I'm gonna kill him. Go ahead, Al Tony. Tell my shot. Shall be our capitan. Me and Altuni, we shall be your lieutenant. No? Are you with us, Altuni? Yeah. Come on. I hope we find hey, a road yeah. somewhere. Hey, wait a minute. Let's uh, let's get this stuff together here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who might this drink be on? It might be on the house. Oh, well, that's <laughs> different. Hello, Martin. Hey, what's this I hear about you forming a vigilante committee? That's right. I am. I don't care how far you go, as long as you keep within the law. You'll have to admit, sir, that you've fallen down on the job. I won't admit a thing. Whoa, you listen. Come on in now, Tony. Let's look things over. Yeah. It is understood, Captain. We shall back each other up, no? Straight across the border, Lieutenant. Me yeah. too. Chile? Yeah. Where'd you say you was from? El Tuni, Anthony. Why? Didn't I say Tequila right? Oh, he understood you all right. Here it is. And of course, it's the same for my Royal Alonso Valdez. Well, here you go, Lieutenant. Why not? Well, look who's here. How's the great Cavalero? Fill him up again, no? Nose right. How long we dance? Hey, what's the idea? From El Tuni, Pennsylvania, huh? Yeah. Fill him up again, bartender. Listen here, stranger. We don't stand for that kind of stuff around here. Well, I've heard sheriffs talk that way before. Well, this is one that means. What's your business? My business? Oh, I don't know. I rob banks, hold up trains, do a little second story work. Play the saxophone? Well, uh, you better come with me. I haven't got anything to do right now. Say, you look terrible. Lieutenant, go buy old Al here a new outfit, will you? I'll see you after a while. Hey, lay off. No one can do that to me and get away with it. Hey, you ought to feel lucky that bad Jim Blake only used his fist. Bad Jim Blake? The fastest gunman of the West? Was that him? Yeah. He's the only man I ever heard of that wears two half-breed holsters. Gee, I guess I was lucky. I think we shall go and do what Capitan say, no? Yeah. We're going to stay on the road, too. Claro que sí. Glad to see you, John. Thanks. Who are you this time? Then Jim Blake's guns you just took away from me. Just right. He's never been in this town that I know of. 
Well, he's sure visiting here now. Uh, oh, this is a pleasure, Miss Barbara. He just told me that you wanted to see me. Yes. Uh, Dan said to ask you about a new foreman. Oh, that's too bad. I mean about Bert Logan. He was a good man. Yes. I know the man you want. He just went over with the sheriff. Why don't you go over and talk with him yourself? His name is Jim Blake. Why, thanks. I will. Please see if my horse is shod yet, Steve. Yes, ma'am. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Logan. Say, what's the big idea? Well, the sheriff can't hold him. And even if he does turn him loose. Why, we may be able to use him a little later. Savvy? Well, I'll be seeing you. Huh? All right, John. Oh, Jim, I mean. Jim, that's it. Don't slip up on that Jim. <laughs> so long. <clears throat> ah, we were just ready to make your rescue, Capitan. Maybe the sheriff, he is the night rider himself, no? Well, now, that's right fine. That's the stuff. One for all and all for one. Hey, why aren't you wearing that hat up, Watson? Everything's too big. This fella insisted on me taking it. Let's see. That way it looks. Why, Manuel, what are you doing here? Ah, senorita, you shall meet the brave Capitan. Hi, miss. My name is Blake. Jim Blake. Why, you're the very man I came to meet. I'm Barbara Rogers. Mr. Barton sent me over to you uh, to see if you'd accept a position as foreman on our ranch. Barton? Why, I don't know him, miss. Oh, he runs a saloon over there, uh, but my brother and I know him. We could pay you very well, Mr. Blake. Manuel knows us. He's worked for us quite a bit. Yes, ma'am. Manuel is my first lieutenant. And my, uh, here's my, this is my second lieutenant. He's a sort of a, sort of a tourist. He's traveling out here for his health. He's from, uh... El Tuni, in Slovenia. That's it, yes, sir. <laughs> well, suppose, uh, you take the two boys over to your place and I'll go see this fellow Barton and, uh, maybe I'll be out after a while. Well, I do hope you can, Mr. Blake. Thank you, ma'am. He is the best shooter in all the West. <laughs> Quite a fellow, ain't he? Well, guess we'd better get going. He's a very gallant caballero. Well, Mr. Blake, you know what Barton around? Yeah. over there. That's me, Blake. How are you? Excuse me. Excuse me for not shaking hands. Oh, I understand. And it slows up your draw, doesn't it? Now, I've heard a lot about you. Yeah, you have been taking quite an interest in me lately, ain't you? Asked that little girl to give me a job and everything. Well, I thought maybe Miss Barbara might uh, free you from the sheriff. Oh, I don't have much trouble with sheriffs. They keep away from me pretty good. Oh, I understand. I kind of like Miss Barbara myself. She just asked me about a new foreman, and I thought of you. Okay. Pardon me. Pardon me. Say, that Rogers Ranch would be a pretty good place, I imagine, for you to rest up and until you get your bearings. Well, I'm sure much obliged to you. I, uh, I may take a ride over tomorrow. All right. Have a little drink? No, thanks. I got to run along. All right. See you a little later. Okay, bring a couple of drinks over the table. We'll need you right up. Blake come out to the ranch? Yeah, he was asleep in the bunkhouse when I left. But it's our business to cover up the chief.
going on around here? The bank's been robbed, Sheriff. I saw him go that way. Come on, vigilantes. Wait a minute, Clanton. Where's the horse? I've got to go. See? Then the Ricker have your horse. Might think I hit with Dan Rogers. All right. What's all this racket about? Someone just came in here, Mr. Rogers. Who are you? I'm Jim Blake. I heard voices, Dan. What's happened? Miss Barber. I was following the night rider, and I think he came in here. Oh, it's you, Mr. Blake. Yes, ma'am. Let him in. Search the place, Barbara. Go around the back door. That leads to Dan's room. Who's in there? Tula. Let's go in. Come in. What's the matter? I'm sorry, Mr. Bustin, on you this way. You're frightening me. Oh, well, don't be frightened. Mr. Blake thought he heard someone getting into the house. Did you hear anything? No, no. I don't hear nothing. Oh, I think I'd better go see how Dan is. He's probably awfully upset. Are you all right, dear? Where did that man go? I don't know. Mr. Blake is looking for him. Oh, I mean Blake himself. How do we know he isn't trying to rob us? Oh, now, Dan, calm yourself. I'll go out and see what he's doing. Oh, he got away, miss. I'm going to have another look around outside. All right, good night, Mr. Blake, and thanks so much for your kindness. Good night. Logan's body was found here. Oh. What's that over yonder, miss? Oh, it used to be the old Rogers mine. I see they ain't working it now. No, it's been abandoned for several years. Though Dan wanted to reopen it. His uh, accident happened there, and my father was killed in the explosion. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. When did that happen? About three months ago. I wasn't out west then. I promised Dan not to go near it. He's afraid there might be some dynamite left under the cave in. Oh. Would you mind if I went over and had a look at it, miss? Oh, of course not. If you're not afraid. <laughs> I'll ride on to the house. It's not far from here. All right, miss. I'll meet you there directly.
that fellow Blake? Has Barbara returned yet? No, sir. Oh, never mind. I'm all right. Hello, Dad. Where's Blake? He's the most interesting man I've ever met. What is he? He went to look at the old mine. Oh, now, Dan, don't be angry. I told him about my promise to you and about the dynamite, but he wanted to see for himself. Now, I'll be back in just a minute, as soon as I change these clothes. A lieutenant of the brave Capitan like you should have a better horse. He stuck to me. I'll stick to him. Ah. Ah, look. The Capitan has got a beautiful one. Someday, maybe Manuel will own one like that. No? Anda, gente. Well, I see Sonny come in himself, huh? Walk in alone. Say, did you go to town do as I told you? Yeah, that's why I'm fixing your lissus up. His feet got a bit sore. Oh, you did find a road then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Capitan, <laughs> Senor Rogers, he looked for you. Where is he? At the veranda with Miss Barber and, and that Tula. I wonder what he wants of him. Quien sabe, maybe we get fired. It's all right with me. Well, then we go away. You don't have to work no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sheriff. What do you want? I should think you'd spend your time looking for the night Rider. Just what I'm doing. Where's Blake, your foreman? Are you looking for me, Sheriff? It's just about far enough, Blake. Take his gun. Blake. trouble? A man named Roy Jones accuses Blake here of being the night Rider. And uh, this piece of paper proves that he is. I'm sure sorry, Mr. Rogers. I 
caused you all this trouble, you being sick and nailing. Miss, you just made a mistake in, in trusting me. I'm right sorry I disappointed you. Too bad, Blake. That handwriting copy pretty good, ain't it, Lim? Sure have. Senor Altoni, I don't like this. Oh, what ails you? Everything's gonna be all right. I hate to do this, Lim. Can you breathe? No. Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah. That's the seal. It's what the old boy puts on all his documents. I don't want to fix it. You're the boss. What's that? I'm the chief. I better go out the back way here in the alley, huh? Who be long now? I guess I didn't. Didn't Al Juni tell you that I ain't the night rider? The Senor Altuni, he not told me nothing, but uh, I go with the Capitan to the end. All right, let's go. To the end. Now. now, where are you going? I'm, I'm going inside, Capitan. You're going with me. No, 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 Capitan. Come on. Hello, good looking. Listen, you wait here. I'll come back, see? No, no, Capitan, take me with you. You're a fine lieutenant, you are. Put yourself together. of going scratched up your desk. See, I came in to I came in to borrow pencil and paper. Tell you not to be too hasty. Why, hello, Steve. Glad to see you back again. Chief is. I 
reckon I can trust you, eh, Martin? Sure, Chief. You know I've always done as I was told. Well, we've got to get it going before somebody gets over there and finds the sheriff and turns him loose. The girl is yours. I'll see you tonight. Now, come on. I... I'm one of the first lieutenants. See you later, boys. I suppose he expects us to release the sheriff. Well, that's the chief's handwriting, all right. And I, for one, am glad that this business of working for somebody that you don't even know is over with. If he's the chief. Well, the stamp proves it, Steve. Yeah. Okay. Now listen, Lieutenant. I'm going to leave you behind this time, see? You stay here and watch. And when the sheriff's released, you tell him to get a posse together and be at the Rogers Ranch at midnight. Savvy? Sit down. Come on. It's you who make fun of the great Manuel Alonso Valdez, no? You think you're brave, eh? Just because you have a gun on the lady. One time, not long ago, you make love to me, no? Chidade. Do you realize what this means if you are caught? Well, I ought to. But I've got to take a chance. The law punishes a crime like this with death. You must be crazy. I'm sorry, Miss Barbara. Don't you dare call me Barbara. Is that you, Barton? Here we are, Chief. Well, I see you followed my orders. Yes, Chief. You take this lady back to the ranch. I'll meet you there later with the money. I have a little score to settle with Rogers. Yes, Chief. If I don't stop reading that thing, I'll be as crazy as you are.
Ano? Try to give up, boys. You're surrounded. Why, it's a plant. No, it's not a plant, Bart. Get up. It's the law you laughed at. Down the hallway, quick. See, I have it, Don't you worry now. Everything's going to be all right. Dan never was much good, John. He pied his mind with them crime stories and they drove him half crazy. Yeah, that's the way I figured it. That's the reason he did away with Barbara's father and pretended to be a cripple. Yeah. After my brother was killed, I come out to do a little investigating. Meeting you made it easy, John. Well, thank you, Aunt Judy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The sheriff told me you're an officer of the law, Mr. Brown. Why, yes, ma'am. I'm sure sorry, Miss Barbara, things turned out as they did. Poor Dan. And what are your plans? Well, I figured I'm moseying along. Oh, I'm sorry. I was hoping you could stay on as foreman. Well, I tell you, Miss, when I... Take a job of that kind, I usually like to be the only boss. Well, all right. You can be boss, then. Well, all right. I reckon I'll stay, then. And still you'll be our brave capitan. You're still our lieutenant, ain't you? Si, senor. Well, tell you what you do. Suppose you go on out and uh, curry out Tooney's mule. Si, senor. Well, what are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. I, I thought I'd take a little trip back to Al Tooney, Pennsylvania. You going back on that white mule? Yes. You'll never make her. All right, I guess I'll stick along. Barbara? Thanks, John. <laughs> 